don't have. <laughs> Another one in the mouth. Well, uh, no, it's, it's writing is a matter of 99.9% of, of .9 imagination, and you write possibilities. If you know human beings, you have this idea that you, if you have to be sensitive to know about what a little... We were all, a, 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 everybody in this room was either a little girl at one time or a little boy. We were all children. If you understand human beings, really understand human beings, I don't mean a specific kid or a specific situation. If you understand, if you look at people with the, with a cold eye and begin to understand what they're about, and don't, don't romanticize them, you'll be able to write, or at least you'll be able to, to create real characters, because real characters are people. He's not a little boy. I never wrote that as a little boy. It was not written externally. It was written internally, and it was a it was a it was a movie, by the way, based on on obsession. Now you probably didn't know that because you live in the region. You thought it was nostalgia. It was not. No, no, no. no. Well, that's the, the, you're laughing, saying, "Yeah, that's what I thought." But think about it carefully. This was a kid who had an obsession on a dangerous thing. Oh yes, you know what that story was written about? Now, now, before you continue to laugh, very, very carefully, listen carefully. When I was, when I wrote the, the original short story, appeared in Playboy, and it was during the Vietnam War, and my uh, editor and I were having dinner one day, and he said, you know, it would be interesting, because I write parables, all my stories are parabolic in nature. The people who read them think, I'm telling what happened to me. Now, none of it ever did. The I is an editorial I, just like, uh, well, all, all of Mark Twain's work is written in the I. Uh, Tom Sawyer was written in the first person, so it was Huck Finn. Uh, and, and anyway, he said, this is, you know, this was a bit in the middle of the Vietnam War, and he said, you know, there's a, there's a, I said, look, there's a myth about war. And I said, the myth is that bad politicians cause it. I said, does it come from politicians at home? It comes from something inside the human soul. Politicians are no more or less human than you are. It's not that way. Because everybody who's doing a, an anti-war thing writes about how bad war is. It's a little bit like saying, uh, you know, a sprained ankle is bad. And everyone says, Jesus, it's fantastic inside. <laughs> Never thought of it that way. So you know, right? So I, I said, okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll write a parable, and that was written as an anti-war parable about the fact that we are lured by weaponry. And no matter what warnings are said, he will go ahead and do it anyway. And ultimately, by the way, in the short story, he did shoot his eye out. That was the actual short story. Now, at the end, he, he never thought he was wrong. He went right back and, and, and proceeded to continue to enjoy having this weapon. So that's what the original uh, idea of the story, probably most of you in this room had no idea that it was, it was an anti-war parable, but it was. Now, if I had taken any other 